Hey, Kayla. Long time no speak. My New Year's gift arrived. Hey, Rachel. No kidding, it's been ages. My present came? That's great. I'm pleased it came before the New Year. Cutting it a bit fine, aren't we? You really are a disorganized sloth of a woman. Sorry. Work always gets crazy towards the end of the year. I barely even get time to think these days. You don't have to mince your words with me, dear. I know that's just code speak for my mother-in-law is low on my list of priorities. It's okay. I'm only the mother of your husband. Why should you make any effort for me? Tell me, Kayla, do you really think you could afford to be this slovenly when you have a little girl in elementary school to think about? I can't claim to be perfect, but I'm doing my best in my own way. You say that, but you rely on my son for practically everything. Don't get carried away just because you make a lot of money. You probably thought you could keep me quiet by buying me an expensive New Year's gift. Luxury steaks? I mean, really? Who buys anyone luxury steaks for New Year's? You put a real damper on my mood with that junk. You know, what disappoints me the most is that you clearly didn't put any thought into my present at all. You don't like them? But Todd told me you love steak, and they're some of the best money you can buy. I thought you'd be pleased. Are they really that bad? I suppose I'll eat them because they're free, but once they're gone, they're gone. What's the sentimental value in that? Next time, make sure you send me something I can keep, or even better, something I actually want. I can do that. What do you want? It'd be cool if you gave me a few examples for future reference. Hmm, let me think. What do I want? Ah, I saw this massage chair on the shopping channel the other day that looked amazing. You can probably afford it since you work so many hours you've almost completely sacrificed anything resembling a family life. I haven't sacrificed my family life. And please, I think a massage chair is a little excessive for a New Year's gift. It was just an example. Can't an old dear even fantasize about a luxury massage chair these days without being shot down? Goodness me, why does everything have to be so serious with you? You're so dry, you have the same sense of humor as a bag of turnips. Sorry. Anyway, what will you be doing for New Year's? Are you coming here? Yeah, me and Todd were thinking of stopping by with Elsa. What do you think? Do as you please. I can't guarantee you you'll have anywhere to sit, though. You see, my daughter's coming with her whole family. On top of you, Todd, and Elsa, I can see things getting cramped. We hardly have the biggest living room. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, don't sweat it. I don't want to make things difficult for you, so I'll give it a miss this time. I know how stressful it can be hosting that many people, so if me not being there for you lightens the burden, then I don't mind not coming. Really? Are you sure? I feel terrible. You're going to spend New Year's all on your lonesome like that loser in the corner of the classroom who no one wants to speak to. Just kidding, darling. Now that you mention it, I do think things are better this way. After all, New Year's is a time for family. You should stay out of our way and relax at home instead. You must be tired from work. I'm sure you could use the rest. You're not wrong. Okay, well it's settled then. Todd and Elsa will come to the celebration without me, and I'll put my feet up on the sofa with a good book and a hot chocolate. Excellent. It's been so long since we had the whole family together. I'll have to pull out all the stops and make it one to remember. Oh, we're going to have such a good time, I can hardly wait. Oh, just because you're not coming doesn't mean my Todd gets out of getting his mother a gift. Make sure he brings me something nice, okay, dear? We wouldn't want to set a bad example in front of little Elsa now, would we? She needs to understand the importance of respecting her elders. Of course. I'll get some of your favorite candy ready for them to bring. 
Make it quick. Everything shuts early on New Year's Eve, and everything's shut down on New Year's Day, so there's no time to waste. I want an extravagant selection of my favorite handmade chocolates fit for a queen. Happy New Year, Rachel. How disappointing. It's already January 2nd. You're a day late, but Happy New Year, I suppose. Sure, but it's still early days. Kayla, you are my daughter-in-law and my son's wife. You have a duty to pay me the proper respects by wishing me Happy New Year's on New Year's Day like a decent human being. Oh, what am I saying? How can I expect the likes of you to understand basic common sense? My time would be spent more productively speaking to a brick wall. Anyway, what do you want? It's about Elsa's gift. Or rather, her lack of one. Why did you get presents for everyone except her? Goodness gracious me, are you and my drama queen of a son still upset over that? I don't remember there being any law that says you have to get your granddaughter a New Year's gift. Besides, why should I have to spend my hard-earned money on a present for your brat? Wait a second. No way, did you want it for yourself? I bet you planned on confiscating it from her when you got home, didn't you? My god, you're petty. Come on, Rachel. As if I'd want my daughter's gift for myself. We just don't like the idea of playing favorites and treating the girls unequally. You got Harriet a present, so why not Elsa? Not only that, but you gave Harriet hers right in front of her. How do you think that made her feel? Elsa thought she'd be getting something. Not my problem. It's her own fault for expecting freebies and yours for raising her into an entitled little diva. Jesus, Rachel, what the hell? My daughter is not entitled. What you did was horrible. Even if you didn't want to get her anything, did you really have to give Harriet her present right in front of her eyes? You could have at least waited and done it when she wasn't looking. Or given it to Fiona so she could have given it to her after they got home. You ignored my question, so allow me to repeat myself. Ahem. Why should I have to spend my hard-earned money on a present for your brat? And for that matter, why should I care if she's shocked or upset? You know, I find it despicable that she thinks she can just waltz into my house and have me shower her with gifts. So, if I'm understanding this right, it seems like you're saying you didn't get her anything because she's my daughter. Goodness me, could it be? Is there a brain in that head of yours after all? Well done, Einstein. This is what you get for willfully disobeying me all the time. How many times have I told you to quit your job now? It's time you learned the meaning of respect. You clearly have no conception of the meaning of compromise. Rachel, it's painfully obvious you hate me, and that's fine. But I'd appreciate it if you weren't mean to Elsa. She's your son's daughter too, you know? Me and Elsa are different people, and I prefer it if you just forgot I existed when it came to dealing with her. Sure, she might be half-related to my son, but unfortunately for her, she's also half-related to you. She's your spitting image. I can't think of a single positive thing to say about her that goes for both her personality and her looks. My Fiona's daughter is at least a million times cuter than yours. I don't need any more grandchildren as long as I have Harriet. Wow, I see. So what you're saying is that you have absolutely no intention of treating the two of them equally. You say it like it's a bad thing. I have the freedom to like and dislike whatever and whoever the hell I please. Sure, I can't deny that. Okay, understood. That's all I have to say on the matter. I'm glad you finally see things my way. I'm impressed. I didn't think you had the intellectual capacity. You and your brat really are a royal pain in my backside. You should have seen it, it was embarrassing to watch. The moment Elsa realized she wasn't getting a present. She started tugging at her dad's shirt. Where's my daddy? Did I do something wrong? Then eventually she got so upset she started crying and threw a tantrum in the middle of the living room for the whole family to see. 
She clearly inherited your low IQ and mental instability. Maybe she did. Oh no, you're not upset with me now, are you? I hope you'll stop corrupting her with your poisonous influence from now on, but something tells me that's not going to happen. Kayla, answer me. What do you want? You bought your parents a two-family house? Sure, I did. Why? Todd's my eldest son. Where's mine? Why are you moving in with your parents? It's me you should be living with. Why are you having a two-family house built for you and your parents to live in? It's not fair! Who's going to look after me? I'm no spring chicken anymore, you know. Don't know, don't care. Our only priority is looking after my parents. Deal with it. What did you just say? Are you forgetting that Todd's my eldest son? I didn't forget anything. He's the one who said he wanted us to move in with my parents. I'm their only child, and they don't have anyone else to look after them. What does that have to do with anything? You married my son, which means you belong to our family now. In spite of that, you have the nerve to treat me like a stranger and prioritize your own parents over me? You have this backwards. This is unreal. You say I belong to your family, but you don't even acknowledge me as part of the family. You ignore my daughter and treat her like crap. You play favorites with her and Harriet and make sure she knows how much you don't like her. You said you could never love her for as long as you live because I'm her mother. Why in God's name would I want to have a house built for someone like that? And move in with you? You're insane. Because I'm your husband's mother, you little witch. You should show me the proper respect. You think you deserve respect just because you happen to be Todd's mom. You couldn't be any more tragically deluded if you tried. You know, you clearly don't know Todd very well. He said he doesn't even see you as family, let alone his mother. As far as he's concerned, he doesn't have a mother. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a mother-in-law. You have no idea how hard I work to try and win your approval. I was determined to make you see how committed I am to making Todd happy, but my efforts were for nothing. I realized all I was doing was stressing myself out and making life harder than it needed to be, so I'm done trying now. The only reason I didn't acknowledge you is because you weren't trying hard enough. You don't know the meaning of hard work. Don't blame your failures on me. I don't care if you don't like me. I'm a grown woman. I can take it. But I'll never forgive you for bullying my daughter. Seriously, is there a mother on this planet who turned a blind eye to their daughter being victimized like that? Who do you think you are comparing her to other kids and playing favorites like you did? Do you have any idea how you upset her? Things like that can stay with children for life, and now I have to undo the damage. Even if you did feel that way about her, why did you have to go out of your way to make sure she knew about it? Some things are better left unsaid. Why, you little... You really are the cockiest, most disrespectful little shit I've ever met. Thanks, Rachel. You're so charming. Call me what you like. Why would I care about the opinions of someone who hates me? You're hardly my favorite person in the world either. Aha! And there we have it. Your true colors. How much of a fool do you have to make of me before you're satisfied? I know where I stand now. Fine, have it your way. I'm cutting you and your wretched family out of my life for good. Fiona and her family are all I need. My daughter would never, ever speak to me like you just did. She knows the meaning of respect. Phew, what a relief. We don't want anything to do with you either, so we couldn't be more pleased to hear you say that. My son made the mistake of his life when he put a ring on your finger. It's obvious Elsa's going to grow up emotionally stunted because she doesn't get the love she needs at home with you and Todd working such long hours. You should be arrested for neglect. You'll regret not listening to me one day, and when you do, I won't be around to help you. Yep, it's time for you to disappear from my life. God, it feels good to say that. Kayla, I need to talk to you. Rachel, why are you messaging me? I told you to delete my number. Surely you can spare me a few minutes? It's about Todd. I'm worried about him. 
Why would you be worried about Todd? Because he's living with you and your parents. I can't think of a more embarrassing, shameful existence. Is he okay? It's a two-family house, so you can hardly call it living together in the way it's usually meant. We have our own kitchens, living rooms, bedrooms, everything. We even have separate front doors. We're more like neighbors. My parents value their privacy. Believe me, we all have plenty of space to ourselves. To be honest, other than being in a new house, our lives are barely any different to before. Really? By the way, do you know what day it is today, dear? Hmm, I wonder. Go on, tell me. It's my birthday! It is? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, it is. Is that it? Yep. My present hasn't arrived. Is there a problem with the delivery? What present? My birthday present? This is your mother-in-law's birthday we're talking about here, the most important day of the year. You usually send me a present every year. Why not this year? Um, forgive me if this sounds rude, Rachel, but do you have dementia? Excuse me? I can assure you I still have every last one of my marbles. How dare you be so disrespectful? Back in my day, you would have gotten the belt for this. It's just that you seem to have totally forgotten what happened last month. We cut you out of our lives. Why are you coming at me with all this crap about a birthday present all of a sudden? Because I'm your mother-in-law. I gave birth to your husband. But we told you never to speak to us again. Do you struggle to comprehend basic English? Of course not, you cheeky little cretin. Just because I cut you out of my life doesn't mean you don't have an obligation to fulfill your duties to me. I can't believe you didn't even send me a birthday present. Have you no sense of basic kindness? Did no one ever teach you to respect your elders? I'm worrying that you think you deserve respect just because you happen to be old. Did no one ever teach you that what goes around comes around? If you want to be respected, how about you become someone worthy of respect? If you want people to be kind to you, how about you start being kind to others? It's really not rocket science. Bye. Never message me again. Hold your horses. I'm not done speaking to you yet. Did you and Todd do something? Fiona and her husband stopped coming to see me. We usually celebrate my birthday together, but I haven't heard a peep out of them this year. I'm sure they have their reasons. Reasons? What's that supposed to mean? Fiona told me you were pressuring her and her husband to move in with you so they could be your full-time carers. So what if I did? I've been giving her and Harriet preferential treatment for longer than I can remember. The least they could do is move in with me in return. What's wrong with that? Fiona never asked for preferential treatment. Huh? You know, Fiona's so nice it's hard to believe she's your daughter. Remember back when you used to make fun of me in front of everyone? Or when you got Harriet a New Year's gift but not Elsa? She sent me apology messages every time. She felt awful about the way you treated me. Not that she had anything to apologize for, but I appreciated the sentiment. You're right. Why would my daughter apologize to you? Probably because she's a decent human being. It's not that hard to imagine she'd feel bad seeing her own mom treat me so despicably. You know, she even warned me about you when me and Todd got married. I'm grateful, because I think your bullying would have stressed me out a lot more if I didn't have prior warning about you being rotten to the core. She even told you to back off and leave me alone, didn't she? She gave up when you ignored her every time, but it meant a lot to me that she tried. She apologized every time you said or did something horrible to me. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. You can't actually mean that. I think you did it precisely because you wanted to hurt me. We're at wit's end. We're at, we're at our wit's end with you, Rachel. All of us. Me, Todd, Elsa, Fiona, her husband, Harriet. We're done. You're done? What does that mean? It means we're done being your family. Me and Todd already told you we never wanted to see or hear from you again. But it seems like you're pressuring Fiona and her husband to move in with you was a straw that broke the camel's back. And now they feel the exact same way. But who's going to look after me if they don't move in with me? Don't know, don't care. How many times do I have to tell you that's not our problem? Whoever ends up with the misfortune of looking after you... One thing's for sure, it's not going to be us. 
No, why? Why are you doing this? My husband's gone, and now I'm all on my own in this house. How could my own children abandon me like this? I raised Todd and Fiona to be good, respectable adults, and this is how they repay me? I'm their mother. They should treat me with love and care, not like this. Oh my god. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back. If you want to be treated with love and care, I suggest you start acting like someone who deserves it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. You treated me like crap ever since we met, and my daughter since the moment she was born. You made sure I was the only one who never got any food whenever we came over for family dinners. You treated me like I didn't exist. But you know what? I honestly couldn't care less about that. I always kind of understood why you were like that. I knew how much it bothered you that I always ignored your warnings when you told me to quit my job to be a full-time stay-at-home housewife for Todd. Right, that's it. The only reason I did those things was to teach you a lesson. What was I supposed to do when you ignored everything I said? But that doesn't justify what you did to my daughter. Elsa is innocent. You were awful to her. She came home in tears every time we went over to your house. She's in elementary school for crying out loud. She hasn't forgotten the way you treated her. How many times you made her cry, all the awful things you said to her. You may as well be the devil as far as she's concerned. That's the real reason we want you out of our lives. Listen, Kayla, the whole thing with the New Year's gifts was wrong of me, and I shouldn't have done that. I admit it, I went too far. Your apologies are meaningless now. It's too little too late. The only reason I was a little hard on you sometimes is because I didn't think you and Todd working all the time would be good for Elsa. In my mind, I was trying to help. I mean, think about it. It can't be good for a little girl to be away from her parents as much as she is. I was so worried she'd grow up emotionally stunted that I said and did things without thinking about the consequences. No matter what you say, you are still my daughter-in-law, you know? You have a duty to look after me. You still don't seem to understand the gravity of your situation, Rachel. You're in no position to give me orders. Because you're not my family anymore. Or rather, you never were. You're the one who constantly refused to acknowledge me, who threw my efforts to win your acceptance back in my face at every opportunity, remember? That's just not true, dear. I do accept you. I accept you as my daughter-in-law and a member of this family. There. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Sure, wanted. Past tense. You need to understand that being your daughter-in-law doesn't make me your slave, and it doesn't mean I lose any right to my own decisions or opinions. Other than not quitting my job, I did pretty much everything you asked me to. Want to know why? Out of respect for you as my husband's mom. But Todd hates you now. He said you're not his mom anymore, and he never wants to see you again. Which means I have absolutely no reason to carry on tolerating you. Oh my god, Kayla, please. I'm so sorry for everything. I want you to understand something. Part of me felt like my beloved son was being stolen away from me, and I think that might be why I lashed out. Won't you prove you're not trying to steal him by bringing him and Elsa over to see me? I'd love to have you all over. How about I cook us a nice roast? I admit what I did was wrong. Let me apologize to you all in person. Like I said, too little, too late. You had ample opportunity to make things right, but all you did was double down on the bullshit. What you did to Elsa doesn't go away with an apology. I'll never forgive you for how you made my daughter feel. But I'm truly sorry, Kayla. Can't you see how serious I am? I've done some soul-searching, and I feel terrible about the way I behaved. Would you please consider my feelings for a moment? Surely you don't really intend to leave your aged mother-in-law all on her own? You're just trying to give me a fright so I can change my ways, right? Well, it worked. You can stop now. I'll change, I swear. You only have yourself to blame for being on your own. It's funny, you told me I end up regretting my attitude towards you, but the only one filled with regret is you. The universe has a funny way of correcting things. Me and Todd couldn't be happier together without you. Yep, it's time for you to disappear from our lives. God, it feels good to say that. With that being my mother-in-law's new life of loneliness, isolation, despair... Fiona and her husband declared a severing of ties at the same time we did. So it's no exaggeration to say Rachel literally doesn't have a single person left in the world to rely on. 
Later on, she told me the only reason she tolerated her mom's shenanigans for so long was because she felt an obligation towards her as her daughter, and because she felt bad for her because she lived on her own after her dad passed away. But her patience reached its limits when she started demanding her and her husband become the full-time live-in carers. Apparently, she even tried applying for a loan to have a two-family house built behind their backs. I didn't know at the time, but apparently things came to a head between Fiona and her mom when she found out about the loan, and they had an argument to end all arguments. Legend has it the yelling could be heard three blocks away. It probably goes without saying, but life is a whole lot more stress-free for Fiona and her husband without the mother from hell in their lives. Me and my husband discussed the issue to death while things were still ongoing, but no matter how much we wanted to reach some kind of amicable solution, we had to accept it was impossible because of Rachel's toxic personality. No good from com no good comes from a relationship with someone who only cares about themselves. I doubt we'll ever see my mother-in-law again, and I don't even plan on going to her funeral. As for Elsa, she loves living with her grandparents. They spoil her rotten and think the world of her. It was so nice to see her go back to her old self after she stopped having anything to do with her other, less pleasant grandma. We're all having a blast, and we've never been happier. What could be better than being surrounded by the love of your family? There are no more negative influences in Elsa's life now. Between the guidance of my amazing, hardworking husband, who so kindly agreed to move in with my parents, and my mom and dad, who are the most thoughtful people I know, she's growing, she's growing up to be a bright, cheerful, kind, compassionate young lady, and I couldn't be more proud of her. It's important to let you know... It's important to let those you love know you appreciate them, and I intend to do just that. Here's to a future filled with laughter and amazing memories.